Hey guys! Today we'll focus on some great plugins for OBS that definitely made an impression on us and you'll probably find them quite handy as well. You can download OBS plugins from their website obsproject.com and I will leave a link for you in the description. We'll start with a pretty nice plugin called Scrap. You know how sometimes you need to show a piece of information and you switch to a different screen but then chat notifications start popping or other personal info might be revealed on the screen. This plugin allows you to quickly share information with your audience with a simple screenshot without actually sharing the whole screen. So here's how it works. Once you have installed the Scrap plugin, go to Settings and then Hotkeys. In the Capture Screenshot field, fill in the key combination you'd like to use for taking screenshots. Save it and now whenever you hit this key combination you will be able to take a quick screenshot that will automatically appear in your OBS Studio Canvas. Another great OBS plugin that we recommend is Directory Watch Media. This one creates a media list in a specific watch folder and once you add a new video to this folder it automatically appears in your stream. To adjust this plugin Go to Filters and from the plus sign add the Directory Watch Media. Actually, there are several rules that can be applied here, like play the newest first or the oldest first or run them alphabetically. Whatever suits your needs. Add the extension and the video will start right away. Next is Spectralizer. This is a nice visualization tool that captures the audio and creates a beautiful sound wave on the screen. It's great, for example, for your starting soon screen or you can visualize your voice, which is pretty cool. After you download and install this plugin, you can simply add it to your scene from this plus sign. You have a lot of options you can choose from, like for example, the type, bars, circular bars or wire, the audio source, filter, color, bar height, weight, spacing… You can really play around with this plugin. And we have one bonus plugin for those of you who want to let their creativity go wild. The plugin is called OBS Shader Filter and what it does is add artistic effects to your sources. Once you have it, go to your source and then Filters. Choose the User Defined Shader and then click the Load Shader Text from File option. You'll notice there are lots and lots of filters, so you can spend a good amount of time browsing through these effects. So these were our suggestions for awesome OBS plugins that can be quite handy or spice up your streams. We'd love to know what other plugins you use often, so make sure you share them in the comments. That was all for today. Don't forget to click the subscribe button for more great videos. Thanks for watching.